Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and as we continue looking at the settings app and uh, the network and internet we are going to look at uh, the Wi-Fi section of settings. What does it have? So here we have of course go to the settings app in the quick actions on the bottom right and click all settings or you can click start menu in the settings gear. Here, you'll go into Network and Internet and go to the second option on the list on the left side of your screen, Wi-Fi. This is what it has to do with Wi-Fi only. The status page gives you access to everything that is a network that is a Ethernet connection, a Wi-Fi, or any other types of connection available. Where here, you have only Wi-Fi options, wireless um, options. First, you've got the general Wi-Fi switch, on and off. And this is you know, something you can turn on or off. Sometimes you need to turn it off for certain types of occasions. Um, you've heard of flight mode. Well, often they ask you to turn off the radios of your different devices. Wi-Fi is one of them. So you have the switch to turn it off here. You can also turn off Wi-Fi if you want to stay as secure as possible. That means it will prevent your device from connecting to anything because your Wi-Fi will be off. Then it gives you the information of what type of connection you have connected to uh, the network. So here I have the network name that I have, Creation Tube 5G, connected and secured. So that tells me that I am connected, that I am secured on that connection. That's what you want to see. Of course, another option below it is Show Available Networks. This will let you see other networks and connect to other networks that are on the list. Maybe you want to change network for some reason. Well, this is the uh, list. Well, by showing the available networks, you can actually change to what other network you want to connect to. Hardware properties. When you click here, it gives you all the details of what your hardware is, the speed of connection, the type of connection, your local IP address, uh, the driver update, the driver version, uh, MAC address and uh, all the information about the type of connectivity you have in this list. The other option is manage known networks. When you connect to networks, what happens? You will have different networks that are available. And over time, you connect to networks and you might actually have networks you don't use anymore. So what you'll do when you don't use one, you'll simply click on it and you'll click forget, for example. This will actually make your network uh, take the network details off and you won't connect anymore to that network. Uh, another one that I don't connect anymore here. Here we go. So these are the two only ones that I connect actually. Um, here, one other thing that is interesting to note is that if you have connectivity issues with your network, sometimes the known network profile is wrong. It might get uh, garbled. It might get um, some kind of problems. And the details aren't good, so the connectivity isn't good. What you could try is to click on one on your preferred network and click forget and then do the connection again. Often this fixes some uh, issues of problems connecting to known networks. You can, of course, click add a network here. This is the ability to add a network manually. In some cases, you might want to do this if, for example, you put your network as invisible. Remember, invisible networks are not a security. Invisible networks are actually visible to anybody. Then you have random hardware addresses, which is, once again, I talked about it in the first video of uh, the status, and it's uh, basically when you can connect to especially to mobile networks you have what is a mac address that is actually identified there so when you connect if you connect to other networks or if you connect back to that same network they know it's your computer they know it's the same computer that connected yesterday or this morning so it can actually track you somehow by using this use random hardware address it actually if your computer is compatible because not all computers are compatible will give different hardware addresses that means when you reconnect it won't recognize that it's you again because that has changed 
So the tracking capabilities become less interesting. Hotspot 2.0 networks. What's that? That's the ability. So you have uh, basically three types of hotspots that you'll connect to. The hotspots that are open hotspots. That means that no password is required. These should be avoided, by the way, because open Wi-Fi hotspots are easy to uh, steal data between what's you know your computer and and whatever they want. So some hackers actually spend time in places where there's open networks just because they can try and steal your data because there's no encryption between the router and your computer. The second type is the ones that are actually with a password. And this is at least what you want. When you go somewhere, they have um, the internet, a Wi-Fi available. You want to have Wi-Fi that has password capability. Why? Because once you enter a password on a Wi-Fi connection, it actually encrypts the data, which means snoopers can't really see what's happening between your computer and the router. And that's what you want. But for added security, there's a third type of network that is slowly appearing here and there. It's called Hotspot 2.0. This is a different way of connecting. Often it is linked to known companies or networks. So for example, it might be linked to an internet service provider. That means if you're already a subscriber to a, a, a company for the internet, well, if that company has a Hotspot 2 network, all you have to do is connect to it and enter the same password you have at home for your uh, for your Wi-Fi, um, not your Wi-Fi, but your account. There's, of course, most of the time you have online accounts for these um, companies. So you, you enter uh, either your password or a selected password that is chosen. So you can go and, and set up the Hotspot 2.0. Hotspot 2.0 networks are much more secure. And also, Hotspot 2 networks have uh, mandatory um, Wi-Fi password. So that means it's encrypted by default. So um, they also promise to make it easier for you to connect. And of course, the option that follows, let me use online sign-up to get connected, is the ability because every Hotspot 2.0 networks require you to log in in order to use the network. So this will, when you keep this switch on, it will actually give you that login page that you need to actually get into uh, the internet connectivity. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.